Sing all you nations to our God. Sing with a joyful noise, with melody of sound record. God's honors and our joys. Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is morning prayer for Monday, August the 12th. It's the 12th week after Pentecost and week six in the Psalm cycle. And today is the feast day of Florence Nightingale. The scripture for this service, Psalm 89, verse one through 18, and 2 Samuel chapter 13, verse 23 through 39. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, I will sing of your mercies forever and tell of your faithfulness to all generations. Alleluia, Psalm 89. Alleluia, I will sing of your mercies forever. I will tell of your faithfulness to all generations. For I know that your love is forever you establish your faithfulness in the heavens. I have made a covenant with my chosen. I have sworn to David my servant. Your dynasty I will establish forever and build up your dominion to all generations. And the heavens shall praise your wonders, your faithfulness in the congregation of the saints. For who in heaven can be compared to you? Who among the children of the mighty can be likened to you? You are greatly, greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints and to be held in reverence by all about. O most high God of hosts, who is like you? Your faithfulness is all around you. You rule the stormy sea and you still the raging waves. You have broken Rahab in pieces and you have scattered your enemies. The heavens are yours and also the earth, the world and all that is in it, for you have founded them. The north and the south have you created. Tabor and Hermon rejoice in your name. You have a mighty arm, strong is your hand, high is your right hand. Justice and righteousness are the foundations of your throne. Mercy and truth go before you. Blessed are the people that know the joyful sound. They shall walk in the light of your counsel. In your name shall they rejoice all the day, and in your righteousness they shall be exalted. For you are the glory of their strength, and by your favor our might shall be exalted. For you are our defense, the Holy One of Israel, is our ruler. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. I will sing of your mercies forever. Alleluia. The lesson is from the second book of Samuel, chapter 13 beginning at verse 23, Absalom avenges the violation of Tamar. After two full years, Absalom had sheep shearers at Baal Hazor, which is near Ephraim. And Absalom invited all the king's sons. Absalom came to the king and said, your servant has sheep shearers. Will the king and his servants please go with your servant? But the king said to Absalom, No, my son, let us not all go, or else we will be a burden to you. And he pressed him, but he would not give him his blessing. Then Absalom said, If not, please let my brother Amnon go with us. And the king said to him, Why should he go with you? But Absalom pressed him until he let Amnon and all the king's sons go with him. Absalom made a feast like a king's feast, and then Absalom commanded his servants, Watch when Amnon's heart is merry with wine, and when I say to you, Strike Amnon, 
then tell him, Do not be afraid, have I not myself commanded you. Be courageous and valiant. So the servants of Absalom did to Amnon as Absalom had commanded. Then all the king's sons rose, and each mounted his mule and fled. While they were on the way, the report came to David that Absalom had killed all the king's sons, and not one of them was left. The king rose, tore his garments, and lay on the ground, and all his servants who were standing by tore their garments. But Jonadab, the son of David's brother Shemaiah, said, Let not my lord suppose that they have killed all the young men, the king's sons. And Amnon alone is dead. This has been determined by Absalom from the day Amnon raped his sister Tabar. Now, therefore, do not let my lord the king take it to heart as if all the king's sons were dead, for Amnon alone is dead. But Absalom fled. He saw many people coming by the side of the mountain. Jonadab said to the king, See, the king's sons have come. As your servant said, so it has come about. As soon as he had finished speaking, the king's sons arrived and raised their voices and wept, and the king and all his servants also wept very bitterly. But Absalom fled and went to Talmai, son of Amihud. David mourned for his son day after day. Absalom, having fled to Geshur, stayed there three years, and the heart of the king went out, yearning for Absalom, for now he was consoled over the death of Amnon. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. In peace we pray to you, O God, for all people in their daily life and work, for our families and friends and neighbors and for those who are alone. The mercy of God community and for the Sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia. For this community, the nation and the world, for all who work for justice, freedom and peace. For the just and the proper use of your creation, for the victims of fear, hunger, injustice, and oppression. For all who are in danger, sorrow, or any kind of trouble, for those who minister to the sick, the friendless, and the needy. We remember especially Florence Nightingale and for all nurses. For peace in Jerusalem, and unity in the church for all who proclaim the gospel and for all who seek the truth. For our church leaders, for all clergy and all ministers and for all who serve God in the church. For all who died, especially Sarah, Stephen Michael, William and Stephen Edward that they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. Let your loving kindness come upon them who put their trust in you. And we pray also for the forgiveness of our sins. That God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of all who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We sing of your love, O tender God, and proclaim your faithfulness forever. May we ever walk in your holy presence, 
and rejoice every day in your righteousness and favor. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.